ancient Egypt is a place of wonder. For years people have looked at the Great Pyramids and wondered how ancient man achieved this incredible feat. It's fair to say that the ancient Egyptians were way ahead of their time, being able to create incredible structures that have stood up to the test of time, being able to read the constellations to an incredible degree of precision, and create giant monoliths that outweigh some of our biggest modern day machinery. This ancient society is seen as the cradle of human civilization, and the advancements made by the ancient civilization of Egypt are unmatched. Not only have their developments puzzled and astounded researchers and archaeologists for decades, but every year more and more information comes forth, showing the incredible might and prowess of their ancient culture. It's no wonder that more out there theories have been put forward to try and explain how they did it. Egyptologists and scientists don't believe that the ancient Egyptians had any help, and that they were gifted enough to have achieved this all on their own. Going back several years ago, an interesting photograph was captured on a live camera that was pointed towards the pyramids. Upon closer inspection, it was noted that a large sphere-like object could be seen hovering above the ground. The object looks to be an almost perfect circle, and doesn't look like it could be a smudge on the camera. Not many people have seen this photograph and so it's been hard to track down what camera this came from, but the story goes that it was a random live camera that allowed people at the time to view the pyramids. One of the first websites to feature the image uploaded it back in 2009, with people being confused about what had been captured. UFO researchers were very happy when this image started to make the rounds online, as for years they've believed that the ancient Egyptians had help when it came to the construction of the pyramids. One UFO researcher said the following about the image. The fascinating thing about UFOs is that they come in all shapes and sizes, and this shaped UFO has often been labelled as the orb or the sphere. Different theories have been presented to explain what the purpose of these objects are, but most who have looked into the phenomenon have said these objects act as a type of drone, scanning areas and flying up close to things as if they're inspecting them. Once they've done this, they can usually be seen making a quick exit. End quote. For years, these strange orbs have been witnessed by people across the planet, one of the most interesting accounts of these orbs comes from that of the mysterious Skinwalker Ranch. The family living here started noticing glowing blue balls moving across the property. The balls gave off a crackling sound, seemed intelligently controlled and could either hover or move unbelievably fast. One evening the family watched as a blue ball approached one of their horses. The light hovered within a few feet of the horse's face which spooked it immediately. From a distance of 10 feet, they then shined a flashlight on the blue globe and it retreated. It then approached one of the family members as if inspecting them. They described it as a glass ball about the size of a baseball, which appeared to contain two blue fluids which intermingled with each other. This is what people think was captured in this image. So what do you make of this interesting photograph that was captured on a live cam? Do you think it shows one of these mysterious orbs? Also, what do you make of the ancient Egyptian civilization? Do you think they received help that allowed them to achieve what they did? The ocean is one of the last unexplored frontiers on our planet. So little is known about our underwater world, and with thousands of new species being discovered every year, it just shows us that we have a lot to learn about the watery dams. Back in 2015, a mysterious sea creature was discovered by the Iranian Navy, possessing a large body, a tail that was described as looking like a dinosaur's tail, and a large body with spines protruding upwards. The photographs haven't been seen by many people, only featuring on a few paranormal websites but those who've seen the images have suggested that it could be a new undiscovered species. An expert in biology said that the skin colour and size of the creature matches that of a whale carcass, and went on to say that it's not uncommon to see them in this condition, saying that this happens when the whale doesn't get eaten, and has spent a length of time being pushed around by the ocean currents. 
For years, people have reported seeing large sea monsters in different regions of our planet. But there's some that have said that these creatures being seen aren't sea monsters or made up, but are rather creatures that are not yet known to science. Scientists, however, have explained that these creatures that wash up are not anything new, and are just whale carcasses. Oftentimes, it's no surprise to find a number of strange ocean life washing up on the shores of beaches from around the world. Additionally, many of these strange species coming from the ocean can range in all sorts of shapes and sizes, from dolphins to whales to sharks and even swarms of flooding jellyfish all across the beach. Interestingly, there are a number of cases in which impossible to understand species have washed up on beaches, and these have been referred to as globsters. Globsters are described as being large white globs of animals washed up, that have been reported as sometimes still moving or completely dead. This has led to many referring to these large masses such as that of different kinds of sea monsters, though researchers usually believe that they're nothing more than a form of mistaken identity. However, one of the most convincing cases comes from an encounter of a globster referred to as El Tronco. Back on the 24th of October in 1924, a strange and unexplainable monster washed ashore after witnesses combing the beaches claimed to have seen an even more impossible to explain scenario. Out in the waves close to the shore, there appear to be two large killer whales working to take down an even larger creature in the ocean that not a single person standing watch could explain. The ocean monster was described as having a long and massive trunk, similar to that of an elephant, a thick white fur wrapped around its entire body, similar to that of a polar bear, and the bloated and massive body of a small whale. Given the massive trunk extending from the face of the white furry beast, many gave the creature the name of Tronco and believed it to be a strange monster unknown to researchers at the time. Despite the body rotting away on the beach for more than 10 days, with a wide variety of people visiting the site, not a single scientist or researcher went to the body, and none of it was preserved for future study. This has led many to believe that perhaps the creature was nothing more than a large whale, and a case of mistaken identity. Given the fact that nothing could have been preserved of the event, it's hard to assume that the creature was a case of mistaken identity, and the witnesses that recount the tale say overwhelmingly so that this wasn't the case. Unfortunately, it appears that we may never know what the creature really looked like and where it came from, marking it as an impossible to explain ocean mystery. Today, many cryptid websites on the internet have removed the Tronco creature, and accepted the explanation of an all bloating carcass as the cause of the sighting, despite numerous witness claims more than detailing the strangeness of the creature. What's odd about this though is that, even to this day, people have come forward and allegedly seen more of these creatures. Going back a few years ago, one managed to find its way on the beach, again covered in thick white fur. However, scientists said the same thing that the creature in question was a whale, and that what people were seeing was the tissues breaking down. There's others who have claimed that large unknown creatures also live in the colder regions of our planet. One of the most well-known ones and famous ones is that of the mysterious Ningen. Antarctica has always been at the centre of a wide number of different theories. Interestingly, it appears that Japan is no stranger to these theories, and have been at the centre of rumours surrounding the icy continent. It appears that over the last few years, stories of strange humanoid creatures living in Antarctica have slowly been circulating all around Japan. According to the Japanese whale industry, many crew members aboard so-called whale research ships have reported seeing strange humanoid creatures. Reports detail that when approaching near the continent of Antarctica, Japanese crew members will report seeing what appears to be large giants laying out in the ocean and that these appear to be humanoid in shape. These creatures are described as being 20 to 30 meters in length, and completely white in skin tone. Others have reported that the creature was originally mistaken as a large submarine in the distance, before getting closer and seeing hands, fingers, eyes and a mouth. 
This has led to the name of the Ningen by the Japanese crew, whereas others simply refer to these creatures as the Antarctic humans. To this day though, different theories have been put forward to try and explain these creatures, but Japanese crew members have said they experience these creatures on a daily basis. So what do you make of these mysterious creatures that keep washing up? Do you think that some of them could be the mysterious El Tronco? Or do you think they're just whale carcasses that are washing up? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.